La Universidad de Marquette les quisiera agradecer por su apoyo esta noche. Notice something different? The Spanish-speaking announcer, children on the field, and delicious churros created an unforgettable Hispanic Heritage Night at Valley Fields. Despite the fun and games, the Golden Eagles were not playing around. Redshirt junior Griffin Jendi started the game by scoring his first career goal in the sixth minute. Thirteen minutes later, and Jendi put another one in the net. It was really good. I think it's a testament to how hard we all work. A bunch of guys on the bench that are ready to step out and do whatever we need to win. And especially with how the last two games went, it's good just to get one early and get the game going and just kind of open it up. And I think it was a bounce back game and we we're trying to kind of right the ship and that's what we needed. So I was really excited. It's great. I mean, couldn't really ask for more. Yeah. Marquette's offense clicked and three more shots reached the back of the net. The Golden Eagles almost secured the shutout until Green Bay defender Andre Bears scored the lone goal off of a penalty kick in the 75th minute. The tensions were high, the physicality was at its peak, and it was Marquette that was able to come out on top. I'm so happy for you know the lads. So also we managed to we managed to uh, rest some guys while still winning, and we get a good look to see how far some lads have come that haven't played a lot. Um, and the only disappointment would be if we've picked up any, any injuries, but, you know, it's a, it's a competitive game. Gold Eagles will continue Biggie's play when they head east to play Providence this Saturday. Reporting from Valley Fields, Amy Galaszewski, Marquette Wire Sports. Thanks for watching this video. For more METV sports content posted every day, click the subscribe button right here on your screen or follow us on Twitter at MUWire Sports.